welcome to the Jet Setter Show, where we explore lifestyle-friendly destinations worldwide. Enjoy and learn from a variety of experts on topics ranging from upscale travel at wholesale prices to retiring overseas, to global real estate and business opportunities, to tax havens and expatriate opportunities. You'll get great ideas on unique cultures, causes, and cruise vacations. Whether you're wealthy or just want to live a wealthy lifestyle, The Jet Setter Show is for you. Here's your host, Jason Hartman. Welcome to The Jet Setter Show. This is Jason Hartman, your host, where we explore lifestyle-friendly destinations worldwide. I think you'll enjoy the interview we have for you today, and we will be back with that in less than 60 seconds here on The Jet Setter Show. You know, sometimes I think of Jason Hartman as a walking encyclopedia on the subject of creating wealth. Well, you're probably not far off from the truth, Penny, because Jason actually has a three-book set on creating wealth that comes with 60 digital download audios. Yes, Jason has that unique ability to make you understand investing the way it should be. It's a world where anything less than 26% annual return is disappointing. I love how he actually shows us how we can be excited about these scary times and exploit the incredible opportunities this present economy has afforded us. We can pick local markets untouched by the economic downturn, exploit packaged commodities investing, and achieve exceptional returns safely and securely. I also like how he teaches you to protect the equity in your home before it disappears and how to outsource your debt obligations to the government. And the entire set of advanced strategies for wealth creation is being offered at a savings of $94. That's right. And to get your Creating Wealth Encyclopedia series, complete with over 60 hours of audio and three books, just go to jasonhartman.com forward slash store. If you want to be able to sit back and collect checks every month, just like a banker, Jason's Creating Wealth Encyclopedia series is for you. It's my pleasure to welcome Martin Lumbai to the show. He's coming to us today from Copenhagen, Denmark, and he is a partner and a member of the board of directors for Mamondo, which is a travel website. However, it has a very, very unique feature, and that is a color coding feature that we're going to talk about. Martin, how are you today? Welcome. <laughs> Many thanks. I'm good. And I'm very pleased to be part of this show. Well, the pleasure is all mine. So tell us about Mamondo and what makes it unique, if you would. Yes, Momondo was launched back in September 2006. And actually at that time, which is not that many years ago, there were not so many travel search engines uh, online uh, worldwide. We were looking at some startups in the UK and some startups in uh, the US. But actually it was not that crowded as we see today. And uh, we want to, uh, w- our mission was actually to offer the most trustworthy price comparison on flights and hotels with a very unique technology, which is uh, independent. We could quite fast offer that service. And um, our main challenge, actually, it's, it's a, a bit funny, but our main challenge at that time was being a startup uh, with a very unique and superior technology, but being based in Copenhagen, Denmark, is often difficult as it's the world's smallest market and the world's smallest uh, one of the world's smallest countries. So that was a, actually a challenge, being a, a global uh, service and being a global brand at that time. But soon, actually, and and thanks to the American uh, media's. We succeeded quite well, I would say, uh, as CNN picked it up um, and uh, awarded it as being best for searching far, wide, fast. And Mr. Arthur Frommer wrote a lot of uh, blogs about, yeah, about Momondo, and he couldn't understand why we kept on coming up with uh, better fares for for even domestic uh, U.S. travelers. So. Um, that was in the early years, yeah, how it all started, actually. So thank you very much to 
to the American media. Yeah, well, there you go. So tell us about what makes it unique. Especially, I want to talk about the color coding feature. Yeah, we're trying to be, or we're not trying to be, but we are different、uh, in many ways. I would say, if you go to Momondo, you can see first of all that we are not reaching out for the geeks and nerds and all the tech guys, being very much Google look alike in our、uh, approach and attitude. It's very colorful, as you、uh, mentioned, but we're trying to to work very much on both the、uh, usability. Make it very user、uh, user friendly, as well as very contemporary in in look and feel, and that's also part of the brand Momondo, which means my world. And we decided to be different in that way because our background is not in in the online business, but more in in entertainment and yeah, in entertainment. And for my own part,、uh, I worked with theater many many years ago, so, so it. We do what we feel、uh, natural for us, and that is. Well, what what what、uh, Martin? How how does a user use the website and use the color coding system, and how does it benefit them? Yeah, and of course, the, the main thing which most of the users use at Momondo is, of course, they compare flights very fast, very easy, very trustworthy. But in addition to that, we also work with other services, and one of them is the city guides. We wanted people to go out、uh, in an open world to explore themselves and having a great time because actually it's not that sexy just finding a cheap flight. If you know from where to where on which dates, actually there are many travel agents that are actually very good at、uh, qualifying that re- request. But if you want unique experiences and unique、um, places. Uh, we also want to inspire you to to do so, and the way we found out is that travel is very much about emotions, and emotions are very much connected to colors. So we found out instead of 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 introducing another block where you ask other users, tell me about a romantic beat, tell me about、um, or recommend a very good restaurant in Paris, and so on. We would rather go emotional. Emotional in that way that you navigate by ambience, you navigate by colors when you go to our city guide. So we simply just ask you, tell us your color, and we will try to recommend you where to go because your your colors are so connected to emotions. So probably we found out that when you when we ask users, tell us if you are on a family trip, tell us what should that color be. That connects to family, and we found out that nine out of ten would probably say green. So, if you're green, we'll come up with all the recommendations for family adventures and restaurants and so on. And if you want to be more high-end lifestyle, gay, first mover, and so on, it, the, most users would probably choose、uh, pink. And so on. So actually, the whole idea is navigate by ambience and colors. And I think it was New York Times that wrote that uh, finally uh, a fun way of of planning、uh, one's trip. With the colors, what part of the colors when when you choose your color going to the website, what does it do? So say for example, you say you're green. That's the family trip. I believe pink is the hip and trendy. Sort of avant-garde traveler, and then maybe you can talk to us about some of the other colors. But say you choose pink or green, for example, what do you get? What result does it tell you? Which hotel to stay at? What excursions and activities to do? Or, or does, yes, does,、exactly. it, does it even pick the airline? Then, exactly. Then the other users have recommended. It works that way. That if you uh, post uh, a tip, uh, a trip, or whatever, then other you、uh, then you give it a color. Because you believe that this recommendation、uh, should be recommended to someone in the family, a family that wants to to discover, then you give it a color. Then you'll probably give it a, a green color. Or if you're a business traveler and you recommend something for other business traveler, then we ask you give it a color. Then we found out you'll probably give it a blue color. And that's how it works. So when you choose a color. 
you will get all the 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 recommendations and and yeah from other users and other users gave it a color so that is actually how it how it works and and the color will influence which parts of travel though will it influence the airline will it influence the hotel selection no not the airlines but the, but the e e restaurants fun parks uh, shopping how about nightlife? Yeah, for example. Yes, nightlife, uh -huh. oh. bars, restaurants, okay. whatever. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Now, are there any other things, Martin, besides the color coding, the ease of use, the media exposure that you've had, that would make it sort of the unique selling propositions? That's what I'm looking for because there's so many travel websites out there. You exactly. know, I'm, I'm trying to find out what are your unique characteristics. Yeah, that is is one uh, characteristic, I believe. Uh, that it's it's very user friendly and uh, that we work with these kind of service that can make it easy for you to navigate and find inspiration and so on. And we just introduced our smiley rating where we give airlines a smiley. And you see today when you work with travel search or travel online, it's simply not enough just to put some filters on the left and put a very wide search result on several flights uh, on the right. You need to give the consumers more. You need to share more information. And we collect so much data that we are able to actually give you much more knowledge about the particular flight, the particular destination, and so on. So when you search on most travel sites today, you'll just find on the right a lot of different flights from uh, New York to Los Angeles or from uh, Los Angeles to Paris and so on and so on. But the first search results will probably be the cheapest. But the cheapest is probably not the most convenient for you. If I search from Copenhagen where I'm based to Budapest in Hungary, probably the first option coming up takes me 18 hours. It's cheap, but it's probably takes 18 hours from Copenhagen to uh, Budapest. It's not convenient, and no one would choose that flight. So to navigate within our universe, we also make it much easier for you because we come up with a smiley and a rating, as we call the convenience balancer, that helps you navigate and find the best flight, not only the cheapest, but also the best. And what is the best? The best flight is probably the one that flies direct, that departs and arrives on in time slots on the day that uh, most people need, and, and so on and so on. And actually, it is possible mathematically to calculate on what is actually the best flight for the average travel. So that's what we did. There are so many variables, I, I couldn't agree more, that the, the concept of the best flight, whether it be nearby airports, maybe not the exact airport, maybe flexibility and travel dates, there, there are just so exactly. many at the times of day, ground transportation issues, it's just so many, so many variables come up that even, even the very experienced traveler, it's hard to evaluate all of these different variables in one's head and then compare them against pricing. So very complicated. And of course, the airlines know this, and they have very complex algorithms programmed into their pricing engines that you know, try to outsmart the travelers. So it's difficult, no question exactly. about it. So we believe that the future for travel online is more intelligent or, yeah, more intelligent uh, results. So today, if you, if you know, I know where, I know when, then several agents or travel sites can probably help you in some way. But what if you ask, I know when, tell me where, or I know where, tell me when. So you need to develop services that interact and give you much more inspiration. Or what if you just plug in your budget in a certain period? Are you able to come up with a very smart and very intelligent service to that request. And so we believe very much in much more uh, intelligent uh, services that are able to make it much more easy and much more convenient for you to travel. So Martin, the website is momondo.com, is that correct? 
That's correct. Fantastic. And just a kind of in wrapping up here, do you have any travel advice for our listeners, whether it be something your company can offer or just something in general that might be useful? In general, I would say when I travel, um, I'm trying to plan at least a month ahead, at least, because at that time, uh, the prices are lower. The closer you get to departure, the uh, more and more expensive the, the flight would probably be. That is one thing. Another thing is that mostly I'm trying to be flexible about dates. So mostly it's uh, less expensive to travel on a Tuesday or a Wednesday than a Friday or a Saturday. So, yeah, planning is a good thing. And then, <laughs> I, of course, I always compare prices because the same flight, will, the flight ticket will probably be sold from several different agents to several different prices. And that actually, that was the whole idea about inventing Momonto uh, back in 2006 because it was a jungle and it was extremely difficult to navigate and to see what is actually a good price. How do I um, avoid getting cheated? So, so compare prices, try to plan in advance, good time in advance, and be a smart buyer. And probably uh, that's some quick uh, advice I can give. Fantastic. Well, Martin, thank you so much for joining us today from Copenhagen, and keep in touch, okay? Yes, many thanks for letting me be part of, of the show. What's great about the shows you'll find on jasonhartman.com is that if you want to learn about some cool new investor software, there's a show for that. If you want to learn why Rome fell, Hitler rose, and Enron failed, there's a show for that. If you want to know about property evaluation technology on the iPhone, there's a show for that. And if you'd like to know how to make millions with mobile homes, there's even a show for that. Yep, there's a show for just about anything, only from jasonhartman.com or type in Jason Hartman in the iTunes store. This show is produced by the Hartman Media Company, all rights reserved. For distribution or publication rights and media interviews, please visit www.hartmanmedia.com or email media at hartmanmedia.com. Nothing on this show should be considered specific personal or professional advice. Please consult an appropriate tax, legal, real estate, or business professional for individualized advice. Opinions of guests are their own, and the host is acting on behalf of Platinum Properties Investor Network, Inc. exclusively.